hopefully what will be first of many 20-minute um, videos of high-intensity training. So the method behind this is based off of the LIT method by Laura Hyman. So every class will start the same, but we will combine sequences and then you have the option to add hops if you want to. This also is an opportunity for you to go slower as well if you would like to do that. That being said, let's get started. So start off on the back. Make sure that you cannot touch your heels. Hands come to the hip points. Start to draw your tailbone towards your heels and then lift your hips two to three inches off the floor for glute bridge. If you feel this in your knees, you can walk your feet a little bit further away and just start to pulse here. So you lower an inch, lift an inch. And what you're trying to do is draw in through that low belly, use those glutes, and try not to fall to the outer edges of your feet. And while you do this, let's stretch the wrists. Pull the right fingers back. And then go ahead and pull the left fingers back, giving yourself a nice wrist stretch. And then from here, go ahead and lower the upper back, middle back, and then lower back to the floor. Hands come behind the head, knees come over the hips. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, lift off of the head and shoulders, drawing down through the low belly. From here, inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up. Go ahead and straighten the right leg. So the higher up it is, the easier midway. It's a little bit more challenging. Bring it back in over the hips, lower down, inhale. Exhale, come up. Go ahead and straighten the left leg. So what you don't want is that sacrum to come off the floor. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up. Go ahead and straighten that right leg. Twist to the left this time. Stay off that left shoulder blade. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the right knee, lower down. Exhale, come up. Left leg straightens, small twist to the right. Come back to center. Inhale, bend the left knee, lower down. Exhale, come up. Right leg straight and small twist to the left. Stay off your shoulders. Twist back to center. Straighten the left leg. Twist to the right. Left knee comes in. Twist to the left. Straighten the right leg. Keep drawing down through that low belly. Knee comes in. Straighten the left leg. Turn to the right. One more time. Each side. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. Come back to center. Lower down. Bring the knees in. And then in your own way, come on up to the hands and knees. So from here, we're introducing a concept of crawling. So hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Go ahead, curl the toes under and hover the knees off the floor, drawing in through that low belly that we just worked on. Tap the knees down, lift the head up, lift the knees. Left hand goes forward, right toes go forward. Right hand goes forward, left toes go forward. And then we'll go backwards. Right hand goes backwards, left toes go backwards. The harder you make it means your butt is low. The higher your hips are, the easier it is. And let's crawl back and forth one more time. We'll be doing this later on, introducing it now. And then let's crawl back to mid mat. Lower the knees, elbows come under the shoulders. You can interlace the fingers or forearms are parallel. Take a breath in, exhale, draw up between the shoulder blades, lift the hips and knees off of the floor. So now we're just in a bouncy dolphin pose. Knees are lightly bent. From here, lift the left leg to the height of the left hip, bend the right knee, and let's bring it into external and then internal rotation. So you're only rotating from the thigh, the hip, the left hip is not moving, or I'm sorry, the right hip is not moving. Draw in that low belly, and then go ahead and bring the right toes down. Go ahead, I'm sorry, the left toes down, lift the right leg, bend the right knee, open to the right, internal. So don't fall to that pinky edge of your right foot. Draw in that low belly even more. And then go ahead, bring the left toes, the right toes down, and come up to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, use the glutes to come on up. Arms reach up, inhale. Keep those ribs pulling in. Exhale, hands come down. Step the right leg back, right knee lowers. Inhale, reach the arms up. Fire this right glute, and we'll start to swing the arms. So as you swing the arms, the ribs turn. Make sure the left knee doesn't move, and that this right glute is holding you stable. From here, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Bring the right hand to the floor. Lift the right knee off the floor, twisted crescent. Gaze looks at your left big toe. Make sure this right glute is working. Take a breath in. Exhale. And then from here, go ahead, stay low, and we'll turn to the right for right side lunge. Holding it here. Draw in that low belly. Maybe reach the arms out to a T. Don't let your ribs go forward. Good. From here, let's return to the top of the mat. Bring the right hand down and the right knee down for right modified side plank. Left leg goes back, left arm reaches up. Feel the right shoulder tack on to your ribs as you reach the left arm up and over. Maybe reach the left leg off the floor. From here, pull the elbow to the knee, keeping both relatively high, reach them away. Draw in that low belly. Try not to fall backwards. Go ahead. Two more. And then from here, pull it in. Left hand, left knee, land, lift the hips up and back into down dog and start to bear crawl. Left hand goes forward, right foot goes forward. Right hand, left foot. Crawl forwards and backwards. Keeping the low belly pulling in. Opposite hand and opposite foot. Good, last one, crawl all the way to the top of the mat. Engage those glutes, lift up with a flat back, arms come up. Exhale, sit back in the hips. Step the left foot back, lower the left knee underneath the left hip. Inhale, arms reach up. Feel that left glute on, and then start to swing the ribs. So in this pose, my shoulders are also stacked over the hips, so I'm not trying to do a super big lunge here. This is all limited to my thoracic spine. Last one, right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Big breath in, exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Left knee lifts, right arm lifts. Let the left ear fall to the left shoulder. Draw the ribs in away from your inner thigh. And then from here, stay low, turn to the left for left side lunge and hold. Maybe reach the arms out to a T. Lift that low belly. And then from here, return to the front of the mat, left hand down, left knee down. Right leg slides back. You can stay here or whoo, use your core to stabilize you. Right leg lifts, right arm reaches. Pull it in, reach it away. Pull it in, reach it away. Good. Try not to wobble. This is hard. Two and one. Bring both down. Lift up into down dog and bear crawl. Right foot, left hand, right hand, left foot. And just go forward and backwards. You can go slow. You can go fast. Just do it with a controlled core. Good. One more time. Forward and back. And then we'll all end up at the top of the mat. Inhale, use the glutes, come up to stand. Exhale, come down. Inhale, step or jump back into high plank. Exhale, you can do a full chaturanga or lower your knees, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. Exhale, down dog. From down dog, walk your feet in a half step to free up your back line. Left leg lifts. From here, you can do a few hops. Or you can step the left foot forward, coming into crescent lunge. Good. Bend your back knee as much as you need to. Try to find your neutral pelvis. And then from here, hands can come to the hips or be an airplane. Hinge forward. Don't let your knee go forward. Come into warrior three. 
Keeping this back glute on. Don't open the hips to the right. From here, keep your balance. Cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh for figure four. Bring it behind you for a curtsy squat. Come back to figure four. So what that looks like from this angle, bringing it behind. So notice that my knee doesn't really move. Good, last one. Go ahead, instead of taking it into curtsy, send the right leg back. Right hand comes down into side plank or modified side plank. So left foot stacks on top of right or the right knee is down. Pull your pubic bone towards your nose. Good, from here, regular plank. Lower the knees, let's do four push-ups. Down, up, one. Keep the glutes and core on, two, three, and four. Lift up and back into down dog. Take a breath in, exhale. Go ahead and lift your right leg to the height of the right hip. You can do a few hops, and we'll all end in crescent lunge with the right leg in front. Find your neutral spine, inhale, arms can reach up. And on your exhale, send weight into the right leg, arms come back or to the pelvis, left leg lifts. Find your balance, and then bring it into figure four. So the chest lifts, left leg crosses on top of the right thigh, hands can come to heart center. And then bring it behind you for curtsy. So this is like the external, an internal rotation you did in your dolphin. Three more. Woo. Last one. Instead of curtsy, send the left leg towards the back of the mat. Left hand comes down, side plank. From here, regular plank. You can stay here or lower the knees, here you go, four push-ups, down, up. Don't let that head fall to the ground. Two, three, and four. Push up and back into down dog. Take a breath in, exhale. One more for good luck. At the bottom of your exhale, step or jump towards your hands. Use those glutes, come up, shake it out. Now, we're going to make it plyo. So, hopping is optional, um, but that's what HIT is all about. So, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sit back, hands come down. Inhale, step the right leg back, and inhale, come up into crescent lunge. You can start those rib swings here, or, Every time the left arm goes forward, you can swing the right leg and hop off Woo, the left foot. But you have to do it with control. So if you're landing and sound really loud, it's a good sign. Energy is leaking somewhere. Good, you got four more, four. Keep that low belly pulling in three, two, and one. Let's come into crescent lunge right, or a twisted crescent, right hand down. Open up. If this feels good, stay here, or you can lower the right knee and reach back for the left, or the right foot. Good. Recovery. <laughs> Let go of the right foot. Lift and turn to the right. For side lunges, back and forth this time. So make sure the knees aren't going forward. And then we can add on hops. So hop off the right foot, hop off the left foot. Just move back and forth. Sit back in that hip. Use your hands if you need to. Good. And then from here, go ahead and turn towards the front of the mat for right side plank. Good, let's make this a combo move. St 
Step the left foot. Side lunge to the right. Push off the right. Side lunge to the right. Turn. Right modified side plank. Step. Side lunge right. Push off the right. Turn to the front of the mat. Right hand lands, right foot lands. Step with the left foot. You can even push off. Ha. One more. Step. Push off. Turn towards the left foot. Down dog. Let's recover here. Two breaths. And then let's start to bear walk. Left hand, right foot. Back and forth. Use that core. One more back and forth. Ooh, you can even come off your mat. We'll all end in down dog. Left leg lifts. From here, step the left foot forward. Come up into crescent lunge. Good. Hands come down. Three legged down dog. Left foot steps forward. You can add a hop off that left foot. Hands come down. Left leg lifts. You can also, as you come into three-legged down dog, push off your right toes. Step the left foot forward and come up. Two more. Hands down. Last one. And then as you bring that right thigh in, slowly send it back to warrior three. Find your balance here. A little change in direction here. Lower the right toes. Turn to the back of the mat. So we're coming into side plank on the left leg. So, Left hand down, right foot stacks on top. And then from here, step the right foot forward, come up, cross the left leg on top of the right thigh. Turning directions again, uncross, left foot goes back, turn towards the front of the mat. Right hand lands, side plank on the right side. You can even turn it to a dancer's table. Left toes come behind you, left arm reaches. From here, left foot steps. Figure four, right leg, uncross, turn to the back of the mat, left hand lands, side plank, right foot steps. This is the last one, cross the right leg, or sorry, cross the left leg on top of the right leg, uncross, bring it behind you, turn towards the front of the mat, right hand lands, Side plank, this is the last one. Then come into regular plank. Lower your knees if you need to. This time we have six. Go ahead, lower. Lift one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead, lower all the way. Inhale, lift, baby cobra, exhale. Down dog. From here, at the bottom of the next exhale, step or jump towards your hands. Use the glutes, come on up. Exhale, come down. Left foot steps back, come up into crescent lunge. On the right leg this time, you can start with those rib swings and stay here. Or as the right arm comes forward, the left leg comes up, you can swing it or you can drive the knee into the chest. You don't want the pelvis to start to move. I'm gonna, whoo, here we go. Last one. Go ahead, left foot comes back, left hand lands, right arm opens up. You can lower the left knee, maybe grab the left foot. And then from here, gently release the left foot, turn to the left, 
for side lunges, or you can add on hops. Do this for a short time, just keep the core intact. Last one. Go ahead and side lunge to the left. Turn back towards the front of the mat. Left hand lands, side plank. Or you could do this with the knee down. Step, side lunge left, push off the left leg. Side lunge left, turn, side plank. You have oof, two more of these. Step, side lunge, push off. Turn, stack, step, side lunge, push off. Last one. Here we go. Step, side lunge to the left, push off. Side lunge, turn towards the front of the mat. Down dog, take three breaths. And go ahead, right hand, left foot. Right foot, left hand, forwards and backwards. One more time. We'll end up in down dog. Good, here from down dog, right leg lifts. Step the right foot forward, come up into crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come down. Right leg, three-legged down dog. You can add a hop as you come up. Hands come down, do it with good form, don't be sloppy. Movement is strong when you can land with softness. Good, last one. Come on up. Don't hop. Slowly send it back into warrior three. Here we go, we got those turns. Left toes land, turn to the left. Right hand lands. You can bring the left toes behind you for dancer's table or regular side plank. Step the left foot. Cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Unwind, right leg reaches back, turn towards the right, left hand lands. Step the right foot, one more each side, cross. Find stability, Woo. send it back, turn to the left. Step, here we go. Last one, right leg goes back, left hand side plank. Good, hands come down, regular plank. Lower the knees, six push-ups. Down for one, keep the head lifted. Two, three, four, five, six. And then go ahead, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push-up. Come into quadruped, werewolf. End with something soothing. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath of you. Keep the hips high over the knees. Maybe walk the right fingers to noon on a clock. Bring the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Inhale. Other side, right arm reaches up. Exhale. Walk the left fingers up to noon. And then left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Push up. Swing your legs around. And come on to your back for at least a minute Shavasana or longer. You can hit pause here and then resume later. Go ahead, wiggle your fingers and toes. Knees come to chest. And in your own way, come on up to seated. May you have a day filled with strength and grace. Thanks for practicing with me. Have a wonderful day.